Okay, so tutorial or typewriter tutorial made with blueprint widgets. Uh, sorry about the background noise, my microphone is dying and it's either that or a really annoying buzz sound. Typewriter tutorial. So I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly. What I'm going to do is a type typewriter uh, effect and um, the reason I'm doing this is because basically I couldn't find any on YouTube so I figured I'd uh, or any documentation to really show how to do this so I figured I'd do one so we're gonna start with a user widget um, type oops, typewriter widget so the first thing we need is a wrap box this is going to allow us to um, basically size our things to our text as we add text. Um, for example, we're going to add a small, actually we're going to put it a bit higher, maybe it's going to appear above the clearest head. Um, because we're going to add an image, um, which I'll show in a second actually, to act as a writer's block. So then we're going to add our text, call it testing. Actually, uh, text message or text block. I guess text block one, yeah. Uh, an image for a writer's block, which is what we're going to call it, writer block. Obviously, you can call these things uh, anything you want. So we're going to rescale this down 0.5 and 0.7, and then we're going to use the translation to slightly move it. You don't need to do this, but I'll show you guys how to do it anyway. So write a blog text. So now, um, if we write stuff or delete stuff, our little image is going to follow or adjust accordingly. Um, okay, so from here, we're going to add a binding to the text for our text block. And to this, we're going to create a new variable. We're going to call it text message and this is going to be a uh, text type um, okay so for the next part I'm going to be creating a macros and well we'll see but uh, I'll just I don't know if I'll talk too much during the process type writer macros um, just basically follow along to what I'm doing. Um, you know, make. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll say stuff when needs to be said. But otherwise, oh, actually, I'm getting confused because I'm talking. <laughs> okay, this is a string array. variable too. Um, now is as good as any other time to do so. And this variable is going to allow us to quickly adjust the typewriter speed if we need to. But in my case I'm just going to leave it at uh, whoops, not 0 0.05 seems to be a good number. Okay, so we've got this. Now we need to create our local variables so local um, actually with space we need a local string we need a local um, text and integer now we need to assign them assign assign and assign We're going to compile and set this integer to zero. Can 
connect them. Oops, a bit of lag. Copy paste. We're going to need them again later. Like this. And we're going to add a delay and give it our typewriter speed as a variable or a value. Now this one, we're going to add a sequence after. And the one is going to go down here while the zero is going to go up here. Um, okay, after that we're going to set our writer block to visible. It's already visible, I know. But that is because we're going to turn it invisible right after. Copy paste this delay in between. Okay. A branch. If it's true, it's going to keep doing this again. If it's false, it's going to exit. Now we got to connect all of these um, values. So the text is going to use the local uh, string value. And we're also going to give it to this one. Now our string value, this one is going to be an append from the get which is going to be our message that we're going to create after this. Now the index is going to be our local integer, which we're going to add a plus. We're going to copy paste this because we're going to need it down here. Um, this one goes here. Oh, actually I forgot to plug the append, right? Sorry about that. So you need to plug the append here on the value of this string, the local string. Um, now this one, we're going to pull out of the array string and get a length. We're going to add this to the plus. Um, okay, from our local integer, we're going to get an equal, equal integer. And we're going to plug this one in. And if it's not equal this, so basically it's going to get the length of our entire message and it's going to check are we at that point yet or do we keep going. So it's going to keep going until it reaches this number plus one. Um, actually I'm not sure that we actually need a plus one here. Um, Oh, yeah, I think we do. I'll try it like that, and um, actually we'll just, I know it works like this, so. Um, after that, I think we're done in here. This is plugged. Uh, we got this, the append. Everything looks good. So now we need to do a few other things. We'll just back in the graph. First of all, we're going to plug it give it a bit of space and we're going to create a new variable of string type we're going to call this one message we're going to get and get character array from string so basically this thing you get uh, the character at the index so let's say we um, test so in the case here the T is would be found at index 0, the E at 1, S at 2, and so on and so forth. So typewriter tutorial. We're going to set our text message over here. We're going to pull our float up here. And uh, hopefully this works. It should. I'm just going to double check to make sure. Got a value here, this set to zero, my message is done. Okay, so I'm gonna go in uh, the character blueprint just to add a function to create 
our widget and to add it. So we're gonna have a flip flop create widget. It's gonna be our typewriter from player controller zero. And we're gonna add it to the viewport. And then when we flip, we're gonna simply remove it. It's probably not the best way to do it, but to exemplify, uh, it'll work. Uh, let's see, so if I press E, there we go. I'm actually back in our macro, so I forgot to do something, and I've only changed this after the video, so just ignore the fact that this is missing for the rest of the video. Um, so I basically need to add a delay here, just so our writer's block actually actually blinks and uh, of course this is completely optional you don't need to make to make it blink I mean you don't even need the block to be there but um, so here's to exemplify and we'll do it at the default speed and I'll show you other speeds also so now our writer's block uh, blinks. so let's say the player skips maybe you can set the speed to 0 0.05 and this could be done at any time because just just goes on and on until this is finished right so even if you change the speed halfway through it's gonna affect the remainder of it so this is pretty cool so the player presses skip I can just press here right again right it goes really fast um, maybe it's a slow typewriter okay so I just uh, wanted to fix that and make sure you guys understood that part so uh, enjoy the remain remainder of the video now what we're gonna do we're gonna add some colored text in between and an end part to it so to do this the first thing we have to do is take the writer block out of our wrap, wrap box uh, because you can't reorder them the only way to reorder them is to take them out and then re-put your things the way that you want them. So now we want another text with you know, text. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to call it text color. And we're going to add another one, text block. We're going to call this one text end. Oh, we can't forget to put our writer's block back in. So now it's at the end of all these other uh, texts. Uh, so now our text color, we want to bind the text and the color and opacity. So we're going to do, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Remove binding, bind, create binding. And we're going to create a new variable, text, message, message, color. This is a text. Whoops, not a vector. Uh, text. Put it up here with the other one. And while we're here, we're going to create another message. Message color. And uh, for example, we'll say here. Uh, whatever, I'll put a big letter in it. Oh, actually, we'll call it um, friendly guy. There we go. With a proper spelling. Okay, friendly guy is our message for the colored text. Now we're gonna bind the color, and this one I'll just do this. I mean, ideally you'd want to create a variable. Well, let's just do it. We'll create a variable for it, so that way you can easily change this uh, value from from another blueprint. So we're going to get a 2D, or actually a linear color, and let's just call it color. Why is there a zero? Huh. Someone else is called color. Did I call my? No, that's that's kind of weird. Weird. Okay. 
Oh no. Is it return a slate color structure? Okay. My bad. We need a slate color structure. Slate color. And can we do this now? Nope. <laughs> Still. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing underscore. There's got to be another something named color somewhere that's referenced or whatever. Okay, sorry about that. Now we're going to set it to, yeah, green. Okay, so that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Um, I think that's it. Oh, actually we need another for the end. Message, and, and in our case it's going to be super simple. We're going to have an inter interrogation mark for this example. So we're going to move this up, add another one of these macros, do the same thing with our color message. Oops. Plug it in. Add our text color. Oh, come on. Delay typewriters. That's not a delay. Typewriter speed. And we're gonna add, or rather, oh, I forgot to do to do something. We have to the text end. If we want to set it, we have to make it into a variable. And this is exactly what we're gonna do. So you should do so. Um, so now text end is here. We're gonna get set text. Actually, we're going to convert this to a text because that's what it is. So, set text. And now we should have something pretty cool. Oh, I forgot to change the first one. Here. Can you go save space? Remember to put that space. Well, if you don't, you'll notice quite quickly. So there we go. So now we can easily add stuff and we can change this message. Um, go kill space ugly face. My imagination is really on top tonight. And exclamation. No, we forgot to change it to red. It has to be red because it's the bad guy. So let's do this. Uh, color text, green, right? We want it red. Go kill ugly face. So there you go. Um, typewriter blueprint widget. So with a cool usable and reusable macro so you can easily plug new messages and uh, add them. So pretty versatile thing. So hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, all right, have fun.